Hey guys, this is Frank and Teague from Bears Layer Games, and we're going to do five box openings of the new uh, Circuit Break Booster from Yu Gi Oh! And this is the second set in the new V Ring Saga uh, following Code of the Duelist. And this one's going to be introducing several new archetypes, including the Rocket archetype, the Altergeist archetype, and the Crawler archetype as well as offering support for several older sets. So there's definitely some good cards to be looking out for in this set. Uh, a few of the chase cards are going to be evenly matched, which is a secret rare trap card, as well as Spiral Double Helix, which is the card that every Spiral Duelist out there is looking to pull. And looks like we're going to get started with the first pack now. All right, so we start off with the Accumulator, Crawler Spine, World Legacy Clash, Altergeist Protocol, Fantastic Streborg, Crawler Receptor, Luna Light Kaleido Chick, Amano Iwato, and Amazon Spy. So it looks like this set, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Altergeist Protocol is a super, and a Fantastic Streborg is the rare. So Altergeist Protocol is a trap card for the Altergeist Archetype and what it does, it's a continuous trap card and while it's face up on the field, you can actually tribute a Altergeist monster you control to negate the activation and effect of an opponent's monster. So it's definitely a three of that Altergeist duels will be looking to play. Alright, so the second pack we have Crawler Spine, FA Off-Road Grand Prix, Link Infra Flyer, Metaphys Executor as the super rare, Backup Squad as the rare, Remote Rebirth, Sniffer Dragon, Mecha Phantom Beast Raiden, and FA Turbo Charger. So the Metaphys Archetype is another new archetype that was introduced in this set. There have been a few previous Metaphys cards, but this one's really looking to expand on them. And it is an archetype that is focused on banishing your own monsters and then gaining effects from them as they are banished by card effects, with Executor being kind of the boss monster for the deck. All right, third pack. It's Crawler Ranvir, Crawler Glail, Link Infra Flyer, The Accumulator, Metaphys Nephthys, Elemental Grace Doriado, Ojama Duo, which is a really neat card, some nostalgia there. Luna Light Kaleido Chick, and Remote Rebirth again. So Metaphys Nephthys is actually kind of a retread of the original Sacred Phoenix of Nephthys, which came out all the way back in Flaming Eternity. And this one, keeping with that theme, also banishes, I believe, your opponent's spells and traps when it's special summoned. All right. World Legacy Pawns, Self-Destruct Ant, Crawler Glail, Amazonas Pet Tiger, and all right, number 41, Baguska, the Terrible Tired Tapir. That is going to be an awesome card. Altergeist Camouflage as the rare, Amazonas Spy, Cyber Speaking, and Ling Ling. You want to let everybody know what uh, number 41, Baguska, does real quick? Yes, yeah, so once per turn during your standby phase, detach one material from this card if you cannot destroy it. This attack position card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Your opponent cannot target this attack position card with card effects. While this card is in face-up defense position, change all face-up monsters on the field to defense position. Also negate the activation effects of monsters that were in defense position when the effect was activated. So what's really cool about that card is it's basically a lose one turn on legs. And the way it works is even if a monster leaves the field to activate its effect, such as a cost, that monster is still going to have its effect negated. So it's a very powerful stall card if you need it. All right. Link Restart. Crawler Ranvir. Miss Starboy, which was a super rare in the last special edition. And our first ultra rare. Magnarek Dragon. Magnarek it. Magna I'm sorry. Magna Rocket Dragon. Fire King Avatar Arvata is the rare. FA Turbocharger, Metaphys Factor, Mecha Phantom Beast Raiden, and Vindred Strigus. So the Rocket Archetype is one of the new archetypes I told you about in the beginning of this video. 
And basically all of their small monsters gain effects off of being destroyed while on the field, either through battle or card effect. And they all share an effect in common that when they are destroyed in that way, they get to special summon a different rocket during the end phase. So it's very similar to the Yang Zing archetype where they keep replacing themselves to kind of keep you going. And we'll definitely be looking out. They, I know they have several secret rares in this set as well. All right. Lyra Lush, Recital Starling, Mermail Abyss Nere, X Crawler Synaphysis, and our second ultra rare, Ultra Geist Prime Banshee, <clears throat> Metaverse as our rare, FA Pit Stop, Capacitor Stalker, Soldier Dragons, and Ling Ling again. So the Metaverse is a really cool trap card that we got. What it does is when it's activated, you can take a field spell from your deck and either add it to your hand or activate it directly to the field. Uh, it's not probably not going to see too much play right now because we are still lucky to have Terraforming at 3. But if we do see the day where Terraforming is limited over here, then we could definitely see that deck or that card sneaking into some decks. And nest the Rocket Dragon. Duck Dummy, Lyrilish, Recital Starling, Goki Headbat, and another number 41, Baguska, the Terribly Tired Tapir. And guess what? We get Destrudo as our rare. Sniffer Dragon, Mecha Phantom Beast Raiden, and FA Turbo Charger. So Destrudo is definitely an awesome card that's going to add some power to a lot of decks that like to play set rotation or Dragon's Ravine. And it's especially popular in the ABC decks because of its ability to get you Ancient Fairy Dragon to the field, which then allows you to search out your Union Hangers. FA Whip Crosser, and the Thest Rocket Dragon, Duck Dummy, The Accumulator, World Legacy Trap Load is our super... World Legacy World Armor as our rare, Sniffer Dragon, X Crawler Naragus, and Crawler Axon. So the World Legacy archetype is similar to the Zephyr archetype from the last saga, where it'll be an overarching archetype that spans throughout every set in this saga, and each set is introducing to us a new archetype to go alongside the World Legacy cards as well. Anathest Rocket Dragon, Temple of the Mind's Eye, Duck Dummy, Auto Rocket Dragon as our super rare. Ooh, I'm sorry. Trickstar Narcissus as our rare. Crawler Dendrite, Ling Ling, Soldier Dragons, and Capacitor Stalker. So Trickstar is our deck that premiered in Code of the Duelist and actually quickly gained some popularity with some duelists. And Trickstar Narcus is one of the newest cards for that archetype, and she actually allows you to burn your opponent when they activate a card effect in the hand or graveyard. And you're also able to special summon her when you burn your opponent, I believe, so she definitely allows for you to spam the field a little bit more with your Trickstar monsters. Crawler Ranvir, Crawler Glail, Link Infra Flyer, another Auto Rocket Dragon. Trickstar Narcissus, another rare. Same thing that we got in our last pack. Interesting. Vindred Strigus, Altergeist Conquery, Metaphys Factor, and Crawler Receptor. So the Vindred archetype is one of our new TCG exclu exclusives for the D-Rain Saga. And the Vindred Strigus is actually another one of the monsters that gives your ritual monsters an extra effect when you use them from on the field. And it's definitely something that will probably be included in most Vindred decks. All right. First fusion, it looks like. Amazonas Pet Liger, Luna Light Crimson Fox, Miss Star Boy, Crawler Ranvir, and Subterra Behina Phoenix, which is a really cool uh, super rare. Uh, Vindred Reunion as the trap rare. F.A. Pit Stop, Capacitor Stalker, and Soldier Dragons. So, Subterra has also gained another support card with Fiendus in this set. And all she takes to make is two flip effect monsters, which actually makes her generic. So, she can be played in other flip decks such as Crawlers. But she does definitely si shine excuse me, in the Subterra deck because of the additional effects that she offers. Crawler Spine, World Legacy Clash, Link Restart. Crawler Ranvir, 
Quiet Life as the Super Rare. Haven't seen that yet. Metaphys Daedalus as the Rare. Kind of looks like the old uh, Daedalus card that we had a long time ago. Amazon as Empress. F.A. Pit Stop. And Soldier Dragons. So Quiet Life is an interesting continuous spell that got imported from the OCG. And what it does is, while it's face up on the field, uh, if a player normal summons first during their turn, they are not allowed to special summon for that turn. And if they special summon first for their turn, they are not allowed to normal summon during that turn. So we could definitely see that seeing some play in some stun decks that are out there. Lula Light Crimson Fox, Defect Compiler, F.A. Whip Crosser, and our first Secret Rare Fuse Line. Security Block, Crawler Dendrite, Amazonas Spine, Amazonas Empress, and Crawler Axon. So Fuse Line is definitely an interesting card to get a Secret Rare slot. Its effect is that while it is set, you can activate it to destroy a card that is in the same column as it. And with the increase that we are seeing in column-based card effects, it could definitely see some play down the road. The Accumulator, Anathes Rocket Dragon, Duck Dummy, and our second secret rare, Squib Draw, which is a card that's used for the Rocket archetype. Uh, Persona Spoofing as our rare, Crawler Dendrite, Amano Iwato, Dark Angel, and World Legacy in Shadow. So Squib Draw is one of those cards that I mentioned earlier for the Rocket archetype. And what it does is I believe you destroy a rocket monster, is that what it says? Yes, uh-huh. You destroy a rocket monster, and then you draw two cards. So it is very well designed for that archetype, and that it's going to trigger your rocket's effect, as well as get you two more cards. So it's definitely good for thinning out your deck. All right, Temple of the Mind's Eye, Defect Compiler, F.A. Offer Grand Prix, Link Infra Flyer, X Crawler Quilark, and what a cool card, Hollow Hollow. I really like that card and the artwork on it. Ling Ling, Vendred Strigis, and Altergeist Conquery. So the X Crawlers are the Link cards for a new Crawler archetype. And what that whole archetype is essentially focused on is using flip effect monsters that are smaller to swarm your field and then uh, tribute them off for the Link monsters and make one large push to kill your opponent. All right, so we have Mistar Boy, Anathes Rocket, Temple of the Mind's Eye, Duck Dummy, Altergeist Protocol as their super rare, Metaphys Tyrant Dragon as their rare, Altergeist Conquery, Remote Rebirth, and World Legacy in Shadow. So the Metaphys Tyrant Dragon is really cool. Uh, basically all of the Metaphys cards that we're seeing in this set are new iterations of previous cards. I know Tyrant Dragon originally came out in Legacy of Darkness and was actually one of the most powerful cards in its time that was included in almost every beatdown deck of its day. Crawler Glail, X Crawler Synaphysis, Self Destruct Ant, and Asymmetaphys, which is the ultra rare, uh, Samurai Destroyer as our rare, it's our first Samurai Destroyer, Dark Angel, Altergeist Conquery, Sniffer Dragon, and Crawler Receptor. So, Asymmetaphys is actually a really cool, cool card for the Metaphys archetype. It's a continuous spell that allows you to, I believe, banish a Metaphys card from your hand in order to draw a card. So, it helps in actually triggering their effects without you even having to summon them, as well as getting them out of your hand if you happen to draw too many. Lyrilish Recital Starling. Goki Headbat, Amazonas Pet Tiger, and Altergeist Melusik, which is another Ultra, should be our last Ultra. Dragonoid Generator as our rare, Amazonas Spy, Cyber's Beacon, Ling Ling, and Snipper Dragon. So Altergeist Melusik is a very cool card for that archetype. It actually allows you to attack directly. It only has 500 tap, but every time it inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can target a card they control and send it to the graveyard. So it's definitely good for kind of controlling your opponent's field there. The Accumulator, Goki Headbat, Nimble Beaver, Mermel Abyss Neri, looks like our first Mermel card of the uh, of the uh, box. Metaphys and Ragnarok is our super rare. 
Metaphys Dimension as our rare, Metaphys Factor, Crawler Receptor, and Crawler Dendrite. So Metaphys Ragnarok is actually the only level 4 or lower card that the Metaphys Archetype has right now, and it is kind of the card that you're looking for to get your engine going monster-wise. Lunalite Crimson Fox, Defect Compiler, F.A. Whip Crosser, Crawler Glale, Alter Guy Silquichos, which is a super rare. Twin Triangle Dragon, really cool looking monsters are rare. Dark Angel, Cyber Speakin, and Muscle Medic. So the Alter Guy Silquis is a really cool card. If you're familiar with Magic Specter Kieran, it has a very similar effect where you're allowed to target one Alter Guy's card you control and one monster your opponent controls and return them both to the hand. And there are definitely some really cool combos that you can get going in the Alter Guy deck with that. All right, World Legacy Pawns, Goki Headbat, Burning Bamboo Sword, Vendred Knights, excited to pull that, super rare. Metaphys Tyrant Dragon as a rare. X-Crawler Naragas, F.A. Pitstop, Ajama Duo again, and Luna Light Kaleido Chick. So Vindred Knights is the field spell that was introduced for the Vindred Archetype in this set. And it actually allows you once per turn to discard a card from your hand and add a Vindred monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, which is another really good card that can work within the zombie archetype because all zombies tend to revolve around going to the graveyard. So it definitely does help get that engine going as well. Luna Light Crimson Fox, Miss Starboy, Crawler Ranvir, Link Bumper as our super rare, really cool card. One time passcode, rare. X Crawler Naragas, Crawler Axon, Amazonas Empress, and FA Pit Stop. So one time passcode is actually a cool card. It just, it gives you a token, it summons the token to the field, which is really good if you just need to link summon because it gives you a free monster right there without having any restrictions placed on you. Link Restart, Crawler Spine, Temple of the Mind's Eye, World Legacy Clash, Gateway Dragon as our super rare, and another one-time passcode. Armano Iwato, Dark Angel, and World Legacy in Shadow. So some of these World Legacy cards that we see will support outside of their specific archetype. Most of these World Legacy cards are actually designed to support the Crawler archetype, but that is what's cool about the World Legacy cards is some of them do work throughout other archetypes. So there are cards in this set which you could also combine with your World Chalice cards. This is the last pack of this box. X-Crawler Synaphysis, Self-Destruct Ant, World Legacy Pawns, Goki Headbat, another Subterror Behemoth Fiends as our super rare, Element of Grace Dorado as our rare, Crawler Receptor, Luna Light Kaleido Chick, and Armado Iwato as the last common in this box. All right, so that's one box down, and we're about ready to get started on our next one. Get it all set up here, and we'll be ready to go. All right, we're going to move the commons from the last one and everything else out. All right, and here we go with pack number one of box two. Bamboo, Burning Bamboo Sword, Crawler Spine, F.A. Off-Road Grand Prix, Link Infra Flyer, Alter Guy Silquitis as the super rare, Trickstar Narcissus as our rare, Cyber Speaking, Muscle Medic, and Crawler Receptor. That Muscle Medic card, I think we've only seen two of so far. Yeah, the Burning Bamboo Sword, I don't know that we've seen that many of yet either. And the Bamboo Swords are kind of interesting because they started with simply Broken Bamboo Sword, which was an equip spell that reduced your monster's attack to zero, which didn't seem very useful at the time, but now they've kind of built around that so that all of the Bamboo Swords work together. World Legacy Pawns, Self-Destruct Ant, Crawler Glail, Amazonas Pet Liger, Quiet Life as our super rare, Metaverse as our rare, Crawler Receptor, Crawler Dendrite, and Armano Iwato. 
So another quiet life there, which as I was saying earlier, is definitely a card that you could see played maybe in a deck like Barrier Statues, which don't specifically care to special summon, but it is a card that could definitely limit certain meta decks such as Spiral, who often need both a normal and a special summon. Goki Headbat, Burning Bamboo Sword, Crawler Spine. All right, Overdone Burial as our secret, first secret. Twin Triangle Dragon, rare. Muscle Medic, Crawler Receptor, Luna Light Kaleido Chick, and Armado Iwato. So for anyone that's familiar with the old card Premature Burial, which allowed you to special summon a monster from your graveyard in attack position and equip it with that card, Overdone Burial is kind of an updated version of that where you discard a monster from your hand and then target a monster in your graveyard with a lower level and you special summon that monster but it has its effects negated. So it is a little more limiting, but it definitely is a card that has potential to see play in future decks. Definitely think it's going to be a card that's seen play in the future. Miss Star Boy, Crawler Ranveer, Temple of the Mind's Eye, our second secret rare back to back, Vendred Chimera. Metaphys Daedalus as our rare, Remote Rebirth, Sniffer Dragon, Mecha Phantom Beast Raiden, and F.A. Turbocharger. So that's really unusual to see two secret rares placed that close together in a box, but Vindred Chimera is definitely a great card for the Vindred archetype. It allows you to negate the activation of any card effect that would destroy a card on the field by banishing a zombie from your graveyard, so it is definitely another card that synergizes well within that archetype. And it has some absolutely amazing artwork on it. F.A. Whipcrosser, Anathus Rocket Dragon, Duck Dummy, The Accumulator, Metaphys Executor as our super rare, Metaphys Tyrant Dragon as our rare, Dark Angel, World Legacy in Shadow, and Amazonist Spy. So the F.A. Archetype is something I know I haven't mentioned yet. It is the other new TCG exclusive archetype that we see in the V-Rance Saga. And it is very similar in artwork to the UA archetype, which we saw a while ago. Uh, but these are all focused on a racing sort of thing. Lyrilish, Recital Starling, Mermel Abyss Neri, X Crawler Synaphysis, Crawler Ranveer, Auto Rocket Dragon as our super rare, Security Block as our rare, Luna Light Kaleido Chick, Amano Iwato, and Amazon as Spy. So with the Luna Light cards that we're seeing in this, in this set, I know that those are OCG imports, which Luna Light players have definitely been waiting a while to get these cards so that they can finish out their decks. Defect Compiler, FA Offer Grand Prix, Link Infra Flyer, Altergeist Melisic, which is another ultra rare. Hollow Hollow, a great rare. FA Pit Stop. Capacitor Stalker, Soldier Dragons, and Ling Ling. So Mellow Seek's second effect is actually that when it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add a Alter Geist monster from your deck to your hand, which is great because it keeps you from losing any kind of advantage if you, it does get sent to the graveyard. And it also synergizes very well with some of the other Alter Geist cards, which we will discuss when we hopefully pull them. <laughs> F.A. Offer of Grand Prix, Link Infra Flyer, Lyrilish Recital Starling, Broken Line, our second ultra rare, Fire King Avatar Arvada, rare, Amazon a Spy, F.A. Turbocharger, Mechum Phantom Beast Raiden, and Vindred Strigus. So Broken Line is a counter trap card that I believe when a spell or trap card is activated in the same column as it. Or monster effect. Or monster effect. You can negate that effect and destroy that card. So again, we see cards that are beginning to focus more on the use of specific columns. Crawler Spine, World Legacy Clash, Link Restart, Crawler Ranveer, World Legacy Trap Globe as our super, Vindred Reunion as our rare, Cyburst Beacon, Ling Ling, and Sniffer Dragon. So Vindred Reunion is one of the only Vindred cards we haven't talked about yet. It actually allows you to special summon banished Vindred monsters face down and then immediately conduct a ritual summon using those monsters. So it is definitely a great way later in the game to still get your Vindred's ritual monsters out onto the field while maintaining those added effects they gain from the smaller Vindred monsters. Crawler Glail, Link Infra Flyer, The Accumulator, 
Anathus Rocket Dragon, number 41, Baguska, the Terribly Tired to Pier, as the Super. Ultra Guys Camouflage is our rare. FA Turbocharger, Metaphys Factor, and Mecha Phantom Beast Raiden as the last common in that pack. So Metaphys Factor is a field spell card for Metaphyses, and what it allows them to do is once per turn, you can normal summon a Metaphys card without tribute. So it does help you get around the fact that most of your Metaphys cards are going to be level 5 or higher. Alright, Mermel Abyss Neri, X Crawler Synaphysis, Crawler Ranvir, Subterra Behemoth Fiends as a super. Personal Spoofing as the Trap Rare. Crawler Dendrite, Ling Ling, Soldier Dragons, and Capacitor Stalker. Personal Spoofing, even though it doesn't have Ultra Geist in its name, is actually a card designed for the Ultra Geist archetype. It allows you to shuffle a Ultra Geist from your field or hand back into your deck to add an Ultra Geist from your deck to your hand. So again, it's one of those cards that kind of helps you to get the cards you want to see in your hand into your hand. The Accumulator. Goki Headbat, Nimble Beaver, Gateway Dragon as our Super, Metaphys Tyrant Dragon as our Rare, Vindred Strigus, Altergeist Conquery, Metaphys Factor, and Crawler Receptor. So it looks like we should have two more Ultra Rares left in this box, and we are definitely still hoping to see a Spiral Double Helix. That would be really awesome to pull out of this box. Duck Dummy. Lyrilish, Recital Starling, Goki Headbat, Amazonas Pet Liger, Altergeist Protocol is our Super, Elemental Grace Dorado, Vindred Strigus, Crawler Dendrite, and Ling Ling. And we are about halfway done with this box at this point, so we should be seeing some Ultra Rares come up again soon. Mistar Boy, Anathus Rocket Dragon, Tipple of the Mind's Eye, Duck Dummy, Link Bumper is the Super, Backup Squad is the Rare, X Crawler and Aragus, Crawler Axon and Amazonas Impress. So the Ultra Geist archetype that we've been talking about can be played several different ways, which is really cool. It does have a more stun focused variant as well as some more aggressive variants focusing on the invoke cards. And that definitely gives duelists interested in that deck some options when they're building it. Crawler Glail. Link Infra Flyer, the Accumulator, Metaphys Magna Rock as the Super, Samurai Destroyer as the Rare, Crawler Dendrite, Amazon a Spy, Amazon is Empress, and Crawler Axel. So Samurai Destroyer is another one of the import cards that we saw from the OCG, and it is a very strong level 7 synchro. Uh, when it battles, it actually prevents your opponent from activating cards or effects, very similar to Utopia the Lightning. And if it's destroyed by your opponent's card effect, it allows you to special summon any machine monster from your graveyard, which actually includes itself. So if your opponent is foolish enough to Dark Hole or Raigekia, it can just summon itself right back to the field. Marmel Abyss Nere, Link Restart, Crawler Spine, Quiet Life as our Super, Metaverse as our Rare, Crawler Dendrite, Armano Iwato, Dark Angel, and World Legacy in Shadow. So I know we recently saw some Amazonist support in the Legendary Duelist set, and this set has actually brought several of the Amazonist cards which we did not see in that set over to us here in the TCG, so Amazonist Duelist will definitely be happy to show that. Luna Light Crimson Fox, Miss Starboy, Crawler Ranvir, Temple of the Mind's Eye, Metaphys Ragnarok is our super rare again, Personal Spoofing as our rare, Soldier Dragon, Capacitor Stalker, and Crawler Dendrite. So as I said before, the Crawler main monsters are flip effect monsters, and they all have a cool effect as well, where if they are destroyed by your opponent's card effect, you can actually special summon another one from the deck, I believe. Mm -hmm. So again, that goes with their theme of swarming the field and kind of replacing each other. Luna Light Crimson Fox, Defect Compiler, FA Whip Crosser, Crawler Glale, World Legacy Trap Globe as the Super Rare again, Metaphys Dimension as the Rare, I'm not so sure we've seen that one yet, FA Pit Stop, Soldier Dragons, and Ultra Guys Conquery. So Ultra Guys Conquery is actually a hand trap for the Ultra Guys deck. When your opponent attacks you while you control an Ultra Guys card, you can special summon it from your hand and then negate the attack and also target a monster that your opponent controls and it negate its effect as long as Conquery is face up on the field. 
So it's definitely a powerful card for that archetype. Anis Rocket Dragon, Duck Dummy, Lyrilish Recital Starling. Magna Rocket Dragon is another ultra rare. And another Destrudo, the Lost Dragon's Frisson, as the rare, great card. Dark Angel, Altar Guys Conquiry, Sniffer Dragon, and Crawler Receptor. So if you guys are keeping track, that's actually only the second Destrudo we've seen so far in two boxes. It definitely does look like it's going to be a short print rare, uh, which is interesting because it's definitely one of the more popular cards to come out of this set. Temple of the Mind's Eye, World Legacy Clash, World Legacy Pawns, and our fourth Ultra, Trickstar Black Cat Bat. Really neat card. Backup Squad is our rare. Amazon a Spy, Cybers Beacon, Ling Ling, and Sniffer Dragon. So Trickstar Black Cat Bat is another Link Monster for that archetype. And it's similar to Holly Angel, except that instead of increasing your own monster's attacks each time that a Trickstar card burns your opponent, it decreases your opponent's card's attack, which can definitely help that archetype to get over some of the bigger monsters in the game. Defect Compiler, FA Offer Grand Prix, Link Infraflyer, The Accumulator, X Crawler Qualier, another Destrudo. Interesting. Amazon is Spy, Amazon is Empress, and Crawler X. So, right after I tell you that Destrudo has been one from us, we do pull another one. But definitely not going to complain about that because that is a card where you want as many copies as you can get your hands on. X Crawler Synaphysis, Self Destruct Ant. World Legacy Pawns, Goki Headbat, Metaphys Neptus, Dragon Head, I'm sorry, Dragonoid Generator as the rare, Remote Rebirth, World Legacy in Shadow, and Dark Angel. So Dragonoid Generator actually allows you to, you pay a thousand life points when you activate it, and then it allows you to summon a token to your field up to twice per turn. So it's definitely an interesting card that Monarch Duelists may consider because it does allow you to generate tribute cards for your monarchs. Goki Headbat, Amazonas Pet Liger, Luna Light Crimson Fox, another Vindred Knight Super Rare, Fantastic Streeborg as our rare, X Crawler Naragas, FA Pitstop, Ojama Duo, and Luna Light Kaleidachik. So Ojama Duo, as he said earlier, is definitely a nostalgic card, but it is also a card that I know a lot of Chain Burn Duelists will be looking at because it does allow you to extend your burn plays in that deck. This is our last pack of our second box. Self-Destruct Ant, Crawler Glale, Amazonas Pet Liger, Metaphys Executor as our super rare, Vendred Reunion as our rare, X Crawler Naragas, Crawler Axon, Amazonas Empress, and FA Pit Stop. All right, so that's two boxes down. At this point, we will probably be speeding up the pack openings just a little bit because you have seen most of the cards in the set at this point. And we will definitely be looking to get to those chase cards such as Spiral Double Helix and Evenly Matched. Yeah, and then, uh, when we pull one of those, make sure you mention that uh, we've only pulled one. Maybe we'll see another one in the next couple of packs like we did this true. That would definitely be nice to see two Spiral Double Helix in one box. All right, everyone. Let's get to it. Box number three. All right. First super rare is Subterra Behemoth Fiends. Fire King Avatar Arvada as a rare. And what does Arvada do again? Here, I'm going to let Teague see, uh, see it so that he can tell you a little bit about it. So what's really cool about Arvada is that it actually, when a monster effect is activated, it allows you to destroy any fire monster in your hand to negate that activation and destroy the card, which definitely allows fire kings to have some more interaction during their opponent's turn, as well as trigger off their own effects. If you didn't see, Quiet Life was the super out of pack number two, and Hallow Hallow, which is a really nice card. I don't know why I like that card so much as our rare. Lyrilish Recital Style. Evenly matched. Secret rare. There we go. That's a card we're definitely looking for, everyone. Vindred Reunion as our rare, and I'm going to let Teague tell you a little bit about Evenly Matched and what makes it so special. So Evenly Matched is a trap card, as you can see, and at the end of the battle phase, you can activate it, and if your opponent controls more cards than you do, 
you make your opponent banish cards they control face down until they control the same number of cards as you. And if you control no cards, you can actually activate it from your hand. Uh, it's definitely a card a lot of people are looking forward to playing in their side decks because it does have the ability to wipe your opponent's board if you go second. So this is the third time that we've seen two secrets back to back. Um, Fuse Line being the second secret in this box. Um, and Alter Guys Camouflage as a rare in that pack. So those secrets were actually placed very similarly to the last box where we saw the two secrets. So we'll definitely be keeping an eye out to see if there's any sort of pattern that we notice in the placement of some of these hollows. X Crawler Qualark and personal spoofing as the super and rare in that pack. No ultra rares yet. Here's to a spiral double helix. Altergeist Protocol is the super metaphys tyrant dragon as the rare. Getting a spiral double helix and evenly matched in the same box is just about the best you can do in this set, as those are the two highest price and most sought after cards in this set. Altergeist Mariniter. I don't think we have pulled this one yet. This is an ultra rare for the Altergeist uh, archetype. Backup squad is the rare. So Marionetter is actually the Stratos of the Altergeist deck, if you will. When it's summoned, it allows you to take an Altergeist card or Altergeist trap card from your deck and set it to your side of the field. And with the Altergeist archetype of their trap cards being as important as they are, it is definitely a great way to get your turn started. Nimble Beaver. I believe this is a short print as well. Altergeist Prime Banshee, another ultra rare. Elemental Grace Dorado as the rare, Ajama Duo. All right. So Altergeist Prime Banshee actually allows you to tribute a card you control in order to special summon an Altergeist to one of the zones that Prime Banshee points to. So it is definitely another great way to start getting some of your Altergeist monsters on the board. Altergeist Soquitus as the super rare and Metaverse as the rare. All right, so we are about a quarter of the way into the box and we have our two secret rares and two of our ultra rares so far. Metaphys Ragnarok as our super rare and Samurai Destroyer as our rare. Vindred Knights as our super rare. Metaphys Dimension as our rare. I believe that's a third or fourth Vindred Knights we've seen. So again, not too many of that card. Uh, it definitely does seem like certain cards in this set are showing up a little bit less than others. Link Bumper and Personal Spoofing. Seems like that Metaphys Dimension, that uh, rare trap, isn't showing up much either. I know that uh, Nimble Beaver card is definitely a cool card for one of those smaller archetypes, which is the Nimble Archetype, as it does allow you to summon another Nimble monster from your deck when it's summoned. Gateway Dragon and another Destrudo. What a great card again. And Destrudo is really a card that everybody's been waiting to see uh, since it was originally announced because it just expands the plays of certain decks so much. Metaphys Nephthys has our super and backup squad as our rare. So we definitely still have two ultras to pull. Hopefully they're coming up soon. The nice thing for anybody that's interested in the Metaphys cards to build a Metaphys deck is that most of them are super rare and below. So it should not be very hard for you to acquire those cards. I believe the only ultra rare that they have is the It's Metaphys, which is that continuous spell card that we pulled all the way back in our first box. Metaphys Executor was the super rare and Dragonoid Generator was the rare in that pack. Subterra Behemoth Fiends as the super and look another Destrudo. Seeing those again kind of back to back. So we are definitely lucky to see those Destrudos. Um, I know from what I've heard around the internet that they are not showing up all that often so far. Another Nimble Beaver. Number 41 Baguska again. Pretty cool card. Fantastic Stryborg as the rare.
Metafix Executor and Vindred Reunion. Really excited about that Vindred archetype. Yeah, it definitely looks to be one of those archetypes that is going somewhere maybe in the next set or two. Uh, it would be really nice to see them get another ritual spell in the future. Oh my goodness, Spiral Double Helix. There we go, that's the chase card right there. That's what I want to see. Trick and again, like Arcasis. I said, to see Double Helix and Evenly matched together in a box does not get much better than that. Double Helix is such a great card. It really brings Spirals full circle and makes them the deck that they want to be. <laughs> yep, we have Lysias Dallas coming up this week, and everybody is putting their money on Spiral to be the dominant deck there. Broken Line, another Ultra back-to-back. -back. So it seems like we're seeing a trend where um, they may be on opposite sides of the box um, with the way I'm opening them, but it seems to be a trend where we're opening, you know, um, two secrets, two ultras, and two ultras kind of back to back with each other. So, double helix for anybody that's not familiar with it is a link two monster that takes two spiral monsters. And while it is on the field, it is actually treated as spiral super agent, which means that all of your spiral gear cards that specifically reference super agent will be able to interact with it. And it actually has an effect which allows you to name a card and then reveal the a card type excuse me and then reveal the top card of your opponent's deck and if it's a card of the named type you are actually allowed to search your deck for any spiral monster and either add it to your hand or special summon it to your side of the field which is just an insanely powerful effect for that deck because it just starts your combos off so well and gives you so much advantage you can plus so hard with just two cards out of the spiral deck. Um, it, really, there's no other word for it other than incredible. Opening a spiral gear drone and a spiral super agent instantly gives you access to uh, spiral double helix, which will then instantly give you access to spiral master plan. And essentially, you're going to get a plus three at the bare minimum off of Master Plan. That was our third box. So we are on box number four now. And here's to hoping that we see another evenly matched and another Spiral Double Helix in this one. We're going to continue to go a little bit faster on these last boxes. And on the next box, I'm going to let my buddy come in, Jeff, and let him open the last box, and I promised him I would. All right, so let me get these last commons out of the way. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. Starting off with Alter Guys Protocol and Metaphys Daedalus. We've been seeing a ton of those. I feel like this is the third box where we've started off with the Protocol. It is definitely a very strong card for an Alter Geist archetype, though. Metaphys Executor as the Super and Trickstar Narcissus as the Rare. I did see another Nimble Beaver in there, which as a short print common is definitely not a bad card to see. Of course, maybe a card that's worth you know keeping in your collection in case it ever becomes uh, usable. Metaphys Nephthys, one-time passcode as the rare. We've definitely been seeing a lot of those Metaphys cards. You know, we've seen several uh, Metaphys Nephthys. Baguska, funny looking card. Uh, Fire King Avatar Arvada is the rare. So with the Fire King Avatar Arvada, I know that another deck that people are really excited about that card for is actually Infernoids because if you didn't remember those are actually also all fire attribute so it does synergize very well there. Another um, Alter Guys Marinetter um, as our Ultra Rare, first Ultra Rare in the box um, and Twin Triangle Dragon as the Rare and I actually went a little too far on the left side so we're going to go ahead and start opening on the right side. And another you know, couple of packs, which should be where that Marinetta was on the left side. We'll see if uh, we can get another Ultra. Another Baguska. Vindred 
Reunion as the rare. So Marionette actually has a second effect as well, which allows you to uh, target a Altergeist card you control as well as an Altergeist monster in your graveyard. And you send the first target to the graveyard in order to special summon the second target from your graveyard, uh, which is, again synergizes very well with Altergeist Mellow Seek because when she is sent to her graveyard, she will allow you to insert an Altergeist monster from your deck. So it's a great way to keep some advantage there. So this is on the opposite side that we pulled uh, Marinetter on, so we're going to see if it's an Ultra Rare. Yes. It is. Asymmetophis. Another good Ultra Rare, and Hollow Hollow. Can't get enough of that. So I think it's safe to say at this point that we are definitely seeing a little bit of a pattern with where some of these Ultra and Secret Rares are placed. I'll be very interested to see if uh, our Secret Rares match again as well. Auto Rocket Dragon as the Super and Samurai Destroyer as the Rare. Auto Rocket Dragon <laughs> and Samurai Destroyer again and again. We're kind of seeing that same pattern. It's a little weird. It is funny sometimes with uh, Konami Yu-Gi-Oh packs where in certain sets you do tend to see a pattern of certain cards being placed together in packs. Subterra Behemoth Fiends and look at there, a rare upside down. Huh. That rare was security block. So we're coming up on the halfway point for this box. No secrets and two ultras. So here's to another evenly matched or double helix or both. Again, that would be great. Quiet Life as our super. Metaphys Dimension. I think that's our third dimension so far, and we're on box four. I'm just really looking forward to see what seeing what some of our anti-meta focus duelists end up doing with Quiet Life. I definitely think it's a card that has potential in the future. X-Crawler Quirelark and Dragonoid Generator. Ultra Guys Protocol, another one. Metaphys Tyrant Dragon, rare. So we have seen two protocols so far in this box. And it is really nice to see another one of that Ace of Metaphysis because that is definitely a three of for that deck. Another fuse line. This seems to be very common secret. Another hollow hollow, great. I'd rather have the hollow hollow than the fuse line to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does seem that uh Fuse line, which is probably going to be one of the less popular secrets for this set, is actually one of the most common. So on the opposite series. side of the fuse line, um, we're hoping to see another secret, and hopefully it is, um, oh great, quick launch, what a good secret. And so, one time passcode. So quick launch is another one of those rocket based secrets that I was telling you about earlier. This one actually acts similar to an emergency teleport where it allows you to special summon a rocket monster directly from your deck, but instead of banishing it during the end phase, it's actually going to destroy it, which has, again, wonderful symmetry with that deck because it is going to trigger that monster's effect. We still have two ultra rares to pull. And here's number one, Magna Rocket Dragon. I think we've pulled three of those so far. Uh, Elemental Grace Dorado. Yes, so that Rocket Dragon is going to complete the playset for that, which again is not bad at all because that is a card that is definitely a three of for that deck. I accidentally did not pull from the opposite side, so this should be another super rare on our next pack. Very well, maybe an ultra rare. Um, so we're going to give it a give it a go, and uh, this Ultra Guys Sequatus backup squad. So this one should be the ultra if pattern follows. Hopefully another double helix. Ultra Guys Prime Banshee. And we are seeing a pattern here where it is the same ultras. I mean, I'm sorry, the ultra rares are together, the secret rares are together, and the ultra rares are together again. So that is our third Prime Banshee as well. And I think coming up on this last box, it would definitely be interesting to keep a count of where these packs are located to see if that is also falling in line with the other boxes. 
Link Bumper, Metaverse. So going back to that evenly matched we pulled earlier, um, personally I'm a very big fan of the Six Samurai Archetype, which is what evenly matched draws on for its artwork. Uh, so I was definitely excited to see that archetype getting some support in the artwork at least. Another Destrudo. Does that make three for this box? Um, I don't think so. It might Maybe make I'm two. thinking of the last box. Another damaged card. That's, we're seeing that a couple of times where our cards are damaged. All right, Medical Snippus and World Legacy World Armor. And that was our fourth box. And I'm going to let Jeff get on over here so that he can open the last box for us. And with this last box, I know that we will definitely be looking to hopefully see not only another evenly matched, but also another spiral double helix. That would be a great way to finish out this set of five boxes. And for those of you that weren't aware, with the pre-releases that took place for this set last weekend, there was talk that double helix could potentially be a short print ultra rare as people were discussing only seeing one to two copies pulled in an entire sneak peek event. So based on the amount of packs we've opened today, it does definitely look like that could be the case. Ooh, even there the match. We go. First pack. All right. Let's go ahead and put First that there. The and box. Samurai Destroyer. Another evenly matched. Yeah, there for the time being in our comments here. Alright. Try to do this lightning round. Squib draw. And again, we see our secret rares coming side by side. So while the placement of the rarities may not be exact, it does seem that they are being placed next to each other. Quiet life. Super twin triangle. So Squib Draw is definitely going to be a 3 of for all of your Rocket decks because it does help that deck to dig through and find those cards you're looking for. So it's definitely not a bad secret rare to pull. Spiral oh. Double Helix. Let's and again, go. we see an evenly matched as well as a Spiral Double Helix Let's in go. the same box. So that is definitely some great pulls right there. It's a really good pull because I main Spirals. So... Excellent Maybe pool. we should have had Jeff here this entire time. It's, no his kidding. luck definitely seems to be better. Ultra Guys Protocol. And for a rare. Let's go ahead. Double Try Helix is up. definitely a card that everybody is going to want. Even if you're not a Spiral Duelist, it is a card that you can place in your extra deck and play alongside Ghost like Reaper and Winter Cherries in order to rob your opponent of their ability to play their own Double Helix. And Link Bumper. Oh, my bad. So a card that we haven't seen yet that would be wonderful to see is actually Kashi Condition, which unless we get lucky and see a third secret rare will not be happening since we did see that squib draw. But I have seen a box of this set open which did contain three secret rares, so it's not out of the question. Four packs left on the right side. And so terrible. I know personally, I will definitely be looking to see another Ultra Geist Marion and Ether. As being the Stratus for that deck, it is definitely a three of and something that that deck wants to see first turn. Ultra. Alright, another Ultra Geist Melis Seat, which I believe is our third copy of that as well. So it looks like we will definitely be building a Ultra Guys deck coming up. And if possible, we can try to bring you a deck profile of that for anybody that's actually interested in playing Memphis. with that deck. Fire King. Two more on the right side. Alright, so from the looks of it, we probably won't see any more Ultra Rares out of these two packs based on the placement of the cards. But we should definitely have 
two more ultra rares on the other side to look forward to. And last pack on the right side. World Legacy. Let's move on to the left side. So, for those of you that aren't aware, uh, the World Legacy, as revealed in the flavor text of uh, Chosen by the World Legacy, or, excuse me, Chosen by the World Chalice, there are seven World Legacies, which means that we should be seeing seven archetypes related to World Legacies. There's my Ultra, oh. Altergeist. There we go, Very another Marionetter Altergeist. And that is a fair copy of that, which does in fact give us everything we need to play an Altergeist deck. Next Crawler. Yeah, one time pass code. All right, so in this last side, we should have one more ultra rare coming up. And wouldn't it be nice to see two spiral double helix in one box? That would be terrific. There's Ragnarok, and back to squad. This set has definitely seen some great support for some new archetypes. Dread Knights, not a bad And that's a card we haven't seen in a while, actually. It does definitely seem to be one of those super rares that is just not showing up as much as others. Alright. Let's crawl there, gateway. And our metaverse. Looks like we have about four to five packs left in this box. Fingers crossed. Metaphys Executor. Another Metaphys Executor. Uh, which, as I said earlier, is the boss monster for that deck. It is summoned by banishing five Metaphys monsters from your graveyard, but it is also immune to spells, traps, and monsters. There's our effects. fourth Ultra, Arrival Rivals. So we did just see our fourth Ultra Rare pulled. Arrival, Arrival, Rivals? Hard to say. <laughs> a little bit hard to say there. <laughs> uh, it is a quick play spell that allows you to gain an additional normal summon during your battle phase. Uh, which is a very interesting card in itself. There's our number 41 right there. Uh, bad super. With the Arrival of Rivals is actually potentially going to see some play in Trick Stars as it can allow you to get an additional summon of your Trick Star Candina during the battle phase which would allow you to search out your Trick Star Lycurish and then return the Candina to your hand during the battle phase to summon the Lycurish to get some extra damage in on your opponent. Last pack, Teague. All right, so this is our last pack of these five boxes, and we'll see what's in store. A Rocket Dragon. It's like an Auto Rocket and Dragon, the Super Rare. Uh, so we did definitely pull plenty of cards for the Auto Rocket deck as well as the Altergeist and Metaphys decks. So coming up in the next couple of weeks, we'll probably be putting some of those together and potentially bringing you some deck profiles. Uh, as I said before, this is definitely a great set introducing some new archetype support and we definitely thank you for joining us to see what we got out of these five boxes. Thanks again and shout out to Bears Lair Games. Newborn, North Carolina. Let's go.